Hello everyone, I'm Yu Zhou from MIT. I'm going to present our work on multi-domain long-tail drug remission, imbalanced domain generalization, and beyond. This is a joint work with Hao and Dana. As we may all know, data imbalance is very common in the real world, including many datasets with different attributes, such as places, actions, spaces, and even critical applications like medical diagnosis. But existing studies on data imbalance focus on single domain settings, where the samples are drawn from the same data distribution. However, data for the same task can originate from multiple distinct domains. For example, data for classifying certain diseases can originate from one hospital. But we can also obtain data from the second hospital, and even more hospitals. Here, due to the potential differences in geographical locations and patient populations, different hospitals effectively act as different domains. Furthermore, when the model development is finished, we hope the model to also work on data from an unseen hospital, regardless of what its label distribution is. Therefore, we formally define this problem as multi-domain long-tail recognition. MDLT in short. The goal of MDLT is to learn from multi-domain imbalance data and generalize to all domains and all classes. But what are the key challenges when extending data imbalance to multiple domains? First, given a multi-domain imbalance dataset, by definition, we have both in-domain data imbalance as well as divergent label distributions across domains. This is because the label imbalance can be totally different across different domains. Moreover, when talking about data from multiple domains, we naturally need to tackle the inherent gaps and data shifts across domains. This means that the second challenge is to tackle the inherent domain shift arising in the data. Finally, as we have discussed, certain domains may have no data at all for certain classes. And we also need to generalize to unseen domains. This renders the third challenge that we need zero short generalization within and across domains. So given these challenges, how should we model the multi-domain imbalance data? We first propose the domain class transferability graph for MDLT modeling. In particular, recall that in the single domain scenario, the basic unit we care about is a class, where we have majority classes and minority classes. In MDLT, such a basic unit naturally translates to a domain class pair. Based on the domain class pair, we can further define the transferability between two domain class pairs, which equals the distance of their learned features. Specifically, for a multi-domain dataset, we can get the intermediate features of all domain class pairs and calculate the distance between each of the two pairs, which results in a full transferability matrix. One can conveniently visualize the transferability matrix by projecting it into a 2D space. Here, we can clearly see different domains, different classes, as well as the distances between different domain class pairs. The size of the circle corresponds to the number of training samples. We can further compress the transferability graph into only three statistics, namely the transferability of different domains for the same class, same domain but different classes, and different domains and different classes. And visually, the transferability statistics look like this. Okay, so having set up the stage, we make important observations corresponding to the previous definitions. We first train a Valina ResNet 50 model on a two domain digit datasets and vary the label distributions of these two domains and plot the learned transferability graph. Interestingly, when the labels are balanced and identical across two domains, the model can easily learn good representations with high accuracy, where different classes are aligned across domains. When we make the label distributions to be long-tailed, but still identical across two domains, 
we can see that the representation learned are still aligned for majority domain class pairs, but not for the minority ones. Furthermore, when we make the label distributions to be both divergent and imbalanced, the features learned are no longer transferable, with a clear domain gap and the worst test accuracy. These intriguing observations indicate that divergent label distributions across domains could hamper transferable features, and transferable features are needed for good performance in MDLT. Further, we can take a close look at how transferability statistics influence generalization. We again train ERM models using 20 different hyperparameter setups and plot the test accuracy against the beta plus gamma minus alpha quantity. We then vary the label distributions for the two domains, including both uniform, both long-tailed but identical, and both long-tailed but divergent. Interestingly, across different label distribution setups, we can clearly observe a strong correlation between test accuracy and the beta plus gamma minus alpha quantity. This strong correlation indicates that transferability statistics characterize model performance in MDLT. Therefore, we propose a theoretically principled loss function for MDLT that bounds the transferability statistics. Recall that alpha, beta, gamma statistics govern the success in MDLT, and smaller alpha and larger beta and gamma will lead to better model performance. Here we start with the first approach, which directly optimizes the desired form of alpha, beta, and gamma. Intuitively, this DA loss is good because the numerator here represents the positive cross-domain pairs, which corresponds to alpha, and the denominator represents the negative cross-class pairs, which corresponds to beta and gamma. So by definition, optimizing this loss we tackle the label divergent as the beta plus gamma minus alpha quantity is positively correlated with performance. However, because this loss is independent of the number of samples in each domain class pair, it does not address the label imbalance problem. The loss will still be dominated by the majority domain class pairs. So, to further address the cross domain label imbalance issue, we propose BODA loss by substituting the original distance function with a so-called balanced distance, which divides the original distance by a factor of the number of samples within each domain class pair. And by doing so, we can prove that Boda laws upper bounds the transferability statistics in the desired form, which naturally translates to a better MDLT performance. So to first test the Boda laws, as well as providing a benchmark for multi-domain long-tail recognition problem, we set up the MDLT benchmark, which includes three synthetic as well as five real MDLT datasets and more than 20 algorithms from domain adaptation, generalization, imbalanced learning, and other different learning categories. Empirically, we test over all MDLT benchmarks and show the performance of the empirical risk minimization the current state of the art solution and compare BODA with them. Our results show that BODA can consistently outperform the baselines by a large margin and test it to be pretty useful and robust in learning multi domain imbalanced datasets. More details are available in our paper. We further visualize the learned transferability graph for BODA and find that it can learn robust representations even under both divergent and imbalanced label distributions across domains. Taking a step further, we, we would also want the algorithm to be generalizable to unseen domains. And this problem is well known as domain generalization, DG in short. We observe that data imbalance is an intrinsic problem also in DG, as learning domains naturally differ in their label distributions. Therefore, we directly test BODA on DG benchmarks and find that it can also boost the performance in DG setting, improving the results by a notable margin. The improvements are particularly large for the datasets 
where label distributions are more divergent, such as the Terra Inc. dataset. Therefore, a takeaway message is that label imbalance affects out of distribution generalization and is crucial for robust digital algorithm design. To conclude my talk, we proposed a new task termed multi domain long tail recognition. We also proposed novel techniques, including the transferability graph for MDLT modeling and BODA laws, a theoretically principled laws for MDLT. Finally, we created five new MDLT datasets for multi-domain imbalance learning to facilitate future research. Please also check out our code, data, and paper. Thank you for listening.